Hello, my name is Josh Aitrig. I'm one of the technical specialists here at Technia. And today I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction to Iterop. So Iterop is a business process management software. Uh, it's meant as a kind of graphical representation of all the processes within your business. Uh, it's something that's built into 3D Experience on cloud. So it's a 100% web-based application. And it's meant as something that is quite low uh, impact in terms of creating code or writing code. So it's something that is meant as something that you can get up and running within a couple of days. So you can kind of design your business process, test it, get it up and running and get users using it within a couple of days. So here we are looking at the business process design widget. So I'm going to run you through how to create a kind of first workflow of some of your uh, kind of processes. So here we have our starting node and from here we're going to create our first task. So the first task as de by default comes up as a essentially a human task. So this is a, a task to do. So from there you can then create more tasks and we can change what type of task we want this to be. So we have our kind of manual task that a person would be asked to do. We can also have a service task. So this will be something that you're going to automate. So this is something that the 3D Experience platform would be able to do by itself. From there, we can then also create more tasks. And these can be other things like scripted tasks. So this would be something where you then have to create some scripts to run in the background to be able to do this task. We can also add in things like uh, different gates. So this can be an uh, exclusive gate, which means that you have multiple tasks here. And based on what happens in this task, there will be an outcome which decides which one of these tasks you go to next. You can also have parallel gateways, which means that from this task, you would then have multiple tasks that you would do all of. And this is all meant as a very easy to use interface. So you can very easily move these around and get it kind of looking exactly the way that you, you want to. And these are all very easy to, to move and kind of move graphically and get it all looking exactly the way that you want to. And from this, we can then finish off with our, our final task to end, end the whole process. It's very easy to add in extra kind of uh, methods and uh, routes for things to go into and uh, move all these around in whatever way you, you want to. So once you've created your, your first uh, process that you want to, you can then go in and validate it and then from here you can then start adding in some of the detail of what you want all of these tasks to do so if we look at this one we can say who we want it to be assigned to so you can create groups within the platform to say anybody within a particular group is going to be able to do these tasks you can apply it to a particular user within the platform or you can uh, allow it to be dynamic. So based on whoever starts the whole process or the actor of a particular task or so on. You can also create forms. So within the task, you can ask a user to do a particular thing. So you can ask them to say, write out a, a block of text. You can ask them to select a value from uh, a certain Boolean. You can ask them to say list, select a value from a particular list or ask them to apply a particular file or an Excel file or to even grab some information out with free experience. And from the automated side, so this is where you can apply a particular service within free experience. So this is where you get to apply a lot more automation into the process. So a lot of this kind of business process is about automation. Ideally, you want to get users to 
uh, do as little of the admin as possible so that they can focus on doing more interesting and more value add activities. So this kind of automation allows you to do uh, a lot of that within the platform. So based on uh, certain things or certain tasks that are, are done, you can get the platform to either maybe change the maturity state of an object, you can get it to create change actions or kind of uh, perform certain actions within change actions. There's a lot that you can do around project management and document management. Uh, you can also get it to do certain things outside of the platform, like sending mails. You can send an email to a user. You can also send uh, any kind of information within the platform with uh, free swim or notifications. So that there's a lot within the automation side that you can do to uh, kind of automate a lot uh, of your processes. And once you'd gone through and kind of created your whole process, decided who's going to do certain tasks, decide when certain gateways are going to be uh, active or when, what conditions certain parts of the process are going to be activated on, you can then go through and test your model. So here we are in the business process play app. So this is where you can test your process. And this is also the app where end users will be able to start the process and go through all the tasks that they need to complete. So here we're going to create this task uh, to start the process and do a bit of testing. So now we can go to our task list and we have the first tasks that we need to complete. So this is where the users would need to fill out all the information that we've put in the process. So if you've asked them to perform certain things or gather information, attach documents, uh, anything like that, this is where they would perform that. And we're just going to go through this. And now you can see we've got multiple tasks. So this is where it's gone through a parallel gateway. We've now got multiple things that we, we need to do. So here we can have, have got a bit of a, a Boolean option to say whether it's uh, filled in or not. So we're going to say no for this. And that's now created more tasks for us to do. And uh, this is where we'd start doing some more kind of complex things. So this is where you can go through and test the whole process before you deploy it. Uh, the whole point of this is that it's very easy to test. And once you do deploy it, it's very easy to roll out to users and to make changes while things are in progress or, or live. So it's meant as a very uh, kind of easy program to get deployments done and to make continuous improvements to. Uh, there's also analytics that you can go into with uh, business process. So you can create all kinds of graphs and analytics to be able to look through all of your processes to be able to see everything to do with uh, the KPIs on certain uh, tasks, whether there are bottlenecks, whether there are issues in the process that need to be improved. So for today, I think that is going to be all that we'll go through to do with ISROP. Uh, probably next time we'll go through a few more uh, advanced things to do with the automation with 3D experience. But uh, I hope you've uh, had a bit of an introduction to ISROP there and uh, hope to see you again soon.